Welcome. Today I will be demonstrating the very powerful and useful features of EasyPerf's Expert Mode. Expert Mode has many tools such as custom gauges, linear gauges, position finders, and a cancel gauge to mention a few. Today I will show you when to use the Expert side, especially when scan stamp images are dirty or have other faults that EasyPerf cannot automatically correct for. Let's begin with a simple example. I have scanned some stamps and purposely left my scanner dusty so it will introduce some aberrations that we can correct in the expert side. Let's begin by opening the stamps I previously scanned and saved. When using a scan with multiple stamps it must be loaded with the, uh, the, with the tractor icon here. So I load my image. As you can see there's lots of background noise. Let's take a look at these two Canadian stamps here. Okay, so first I will crop out this stamp. Notice that I have the wiper icon turned on, so it will uh, attempt to clean the background noise. So first I must crop it out. And then we calculate. As you can see for this stamp, it worked pretty well. We have a 12 by 12 stamp as expected. Now let's do the second copy of this stamp. I will reload the multi-stamp image and crop out the second stamp. So I'll left click on the tractor icon, grab my second image, crop it out. And measure. Take notice of the red line at the bottom edge. This is an indicator to us that there is something that we need to correct. Looking closely, we will see two blind perfs that were missed and gave us a different reading than the previous stamp. To fix this, we need to switch to the expert side by clicking on this icon here. We must now manually add the two missed perfs where the blind perfs are located. To do this, we simply left click where the perf is supposed to be and then left click on the plus sign icon to add the perf line. So here's a perf that we missed. So I'll left click here, click on the plus sign and it will add the perf. We can adjust the perf by right clicking on it and then using the arrows to nudge it over. And we can repeat for the second perf. So I'll left click here. Um, for the second perf, I'll purposely put the perf line just off to the right a bit so I can show you again how to fine turn the perf lines if need be. So I'll just put it over here. Click on the plus sign to add it. As you can see, that line is not where it should be. All you have to do is right click on the, on the perf and then use the nudge arrows to move it into place. When you're happy with where the uh, perf is, click recalculate. If there are no red lines displayed again, everything seems to be okay. Let's switch back to expert or standard, and there we go. I will do one more example of a perf with some perfs with paper adhesions and paper particles obscuring the perf. Let's reload our image. And Let's take this stamp here. As you can see, it's very dirty. There's all sorts of paper fibers all around it. So first thing we need to do is crop it out. As you can see, it's rotated a fair bit, so I'm going to rotate it. And then, now let's measure it. Well, as you can see, we've got a red line here. It actually didn't do a too bad job on this side, but we'll switch to expert and correct it. So this one here is off. We'll recalculate. And then we'll take a look at the other perfs and make sure they look okay. And it seems to be okay. Actually, this one is off. And recalculate. And switch back. And this stamp is as expected, 11 by 11 and a quarter. 
As you have seen, EasyPerf can measure almost any stamp, but you must try and provide a clean image. Always clean your scanner and keep it free from dust, and do not alter the scan in any way. Always scan at 100% of actual size. We will be doing another video soon to show you how to correct your scanner if the stepping motor is either stretching or shrinking your images, but that will be another time. Thanks for watching.